Operations veteran and law enforcement expert Aaron Cohen. Aaron, it's great to have you on the show as always. Here's Director Cheadle kind of evading all the questions they asked. We kind of put this together for you so you could see some context here. Watch. I don't want to speak to specifics of the event. Again, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the numbers of personnel that we had there. I don't have the details on the timeline. I'm unable to answer details of exactly how the individual accessed the roof at this time. I can speak to you in generalities. I mean, it gets us nowhere, Aaron. We know how he got on the roof. It's not like, you know, there's these big secrets. It's not, you know, something that we don't really have a pretty good idea of. And just hear it. Tell us how the investigation is going. Why not? Trace, here's where I'm at. I think Director Cheadle's uh, refusal to provide clear answers in front of Congress, which is a legal investigation, shows her lack of experience and expertise in this field. Yeah. That's where I come out. Her inability to give any answers shows me that she is unfit to run what was once the most elite law enforcement protective agency in the world. That's where I'm at. Yeah, it's amazing because uh, a lot of the things that she has said over the past uh, 12 days or so, it's interesting because Congressman Carlos Jimenez, the Republican from Florida, uh, had this on his social media, and he was talking about the roof that the shooter was on and fired the shots. I'm standing in approximately the site where the shooter was, as you can here. see. I'm a 70-year-old man, and this, is where this roof is not a big deal. So for somebody to tell me that Secret Service agents couldn't have been here, that's crazy. I mean, we've seen FBI guys up on the roof, Aaron, hosing it down. We've seen the roof. It's got a sl It's nothing. Nothing that a Secret Service, these highly trained people, could not be on top of or, or anybody else. I just think she doesn't have answers for the complexities of this job. And regardless of the fact that she's been a Secret Service agent for over 25 years, keep in mind, she was the, 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 the head of security for Pepsi mm -hmm. before she was brought right. back into the Secret Service. She'd been in the private sector for a minute, making some pretty good cash, but clearly... She doesn't have the ability to be able to handle the complexities of not only keeping Donald Trump's ear from getting shot off, he could have been dead. Right. The reason why he's alive is purely a, a luck at this point. But the fact is, is that there was too many failures in that entire day at, out at Butler for her to really pontificate what the mistakes were, and I think she's just doing her best to try and save herself, but she really needs to do a favor, in my opinion, to the men and women in the Secret Service mm -hmm. who deserve a better leader than her, and I think she needs to step down. And they wiped the floor with her on Congress today. Yep. It's embarrassing. But for the people that they protect and for the men and women in, the, in that outfit, she needs to step down because I don't think they're the issue. Clearly, she is. And she says she's still the best person to run that department. Uh, we will see what happens. Aaron, thank you very much.